normal to see tumor markers kind of do this roller coaster type thing, but it's when we start to see that trend word up that we get a little nervous, but we still need more information. This is why we do what we do. And this is why terrain testing, this is why getting a larger picture is so imperative. In this case, what I would truly recommend would be looking at circulating tumor cell DNA. And we do have these tests out there now. What they do is if there is tissue available from that original tumor, um, in this case, she would have it because she had a lumpectomy. This company will go down and actually track down that tissue and create a fingerprint. They call it a fingerprint of the circulating tumor cell DNA. And they can use that to screen the blood to see if they're finding any signs of residual disease. I am a big proponent of getting this testing as soon as someone gets surgery, as soon as someone begins their cancer journey, if they have adequate tissue. I think this is an important test to get because, again, I think it's more sensitive than just watching tumor markers. And we can check this every three months and make it a longitudinal test to make sure we're where we want to be. So it's just more information is more power. And God forbid, yes, it shows that there's some circulating tumor cell DNA, but at least it gives us the information to start to do something about.